Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 That's why I didn't sing it going crazy with you. <laughs> the Lord had it for you to sing. Amen. 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 That's all right. Amen. John 6, 3, begin at the third verse. And Jesus went into a mountain. And there he sat mm -hmm. with his disciples. Yes. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. I mean, it was near. Mm -hmm. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread? Amen. Where can we buy bread that these may eat? Amen. And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. <laughs> he had an answer. <laughs> he just asked the question. Hallelujah. Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them. That's not enough. That every one of them May take a little. Milo. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother that we read about in Sunday school, said unto him, mm -hmm. There is a lad here oh. which has five barley loaves and two small fish. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But what are they among so many? All these people, <laughs> what can five loaves of bread and two fish do? For 5,000 men plus women and children. Yes, Lord. And Jesus said, make them sit down. <laughs> make the men sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Then there was much grass in the place. There was some grass. So the men sat down in number about 5,000 men. I didn't say women, did it? So there were women there too. And children. And Jesus took the loaves. Look at my Lord and your Savior. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. And when he had given thanks, uh -huh. yes, he did. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Look at it. He distributed to the disciples. Yeah. And the disciples to them that were set down. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm, the Lord suffered. And likewise of the fishes as much as they would. Mm -hmm. yeah. The bread and the two fish. And when they were filled, mm -hmm. that crown, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that Amen. nothing be lost. Amen. Gather up some fragments with five loaves of bread and two fish. Lord have mercy. <laughs> But look at 13. It said, Therefore they gathered them together yeah. and filled 12 baskets yeah. with the fragments of the five barley loaves. Look at God. Yeah. A miracle. <laughs> Which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. This is the leftover from 5,000 plus, yeah. 10,000, 15,000. Who knows how many? Had 12 baskets of food left. That's right. Out of five loaves of bread. I know what a loaf of bread is. Yeah. And two little fish. Mm -hmm. Look at my God. Yeah. So if I had a thought to use mm -hmm. on this morning, mm -hmm. that thought would be when a storm derails your train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. When a storm derails your train. Yeah. Let us pray. Father, we come to you again. Read what your word. Make it become more life to us. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, your yeah. word that we get in our heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We might not sin against you. Yeah. Yeah. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. When a storm derails your train. The Lord and most devastating tornado ever hit the Carolinas, North Carolina, South Carolina, that is, happened 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. During this 
devastation, 24 tornadoes killed 57 people. 15 in South Carolina and 42 in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. yes. That was according to the National Weather Report. Mm -hmm. The twister that came from that tornado, at least 1,200 or more were injured. Amen. Then in September of 1989, y'all remember Hugo? <laughs> Hugo swept through, and I was teaching at Mormon Elementary School. <laughs> and we was in the classroom, Destiny, and I was trying to teach. I don't know if that was Miss, I don't know if that was your class or what, but I was trying to teach him the children were saying, look, Mr. Brown, look out the window. I went over there, I pulled them blind out. I said, you need to be listening to me. Not what's happening out there. About that time we heard something go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Tore the roof out of the building. You talking about some folks running in the middle of the gymtorium? We ran and ran up on stage until the storm passed through. I had to teach several weeks on the stage in the gym because it tore up so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That was in Mormon, North Carolina. Amen. Power outage. Several days we went without electricity. Amen. It is reported that 13 lives were taken in South Carolina and six in North Carolina. But there were about two dozen after the after effect that died from Hugo. Amen. Hurricane Hugo. Many homes and businesses were destroyed. And boats were carried out of the water, swept across the land, tear up buildings. High school in some parts of North Carolina was selected as the emergency evacuation place. And it was predicted that the water would rise to 20 feet high. Amen. Do you know that in this gym where the evacuees were, the water rose up six feet high. We had to evacuate from this gym. Charlotte, North Carolina. You know where Charlotte is. Aren't you know who live in Charlotte? They were chained by this devastating mm -hmm. Hugo. Amen. Hugo packed forces and gusts nearly 200 miles from the ocean. Newspaper reporters indicated 85% of homes and businesses were without. Downtown skyscrapers in Charlotte had large windows blown out. Debris was all over the street. WSOC TV said that a 400 foot tall antenna tower was blown down. Hugo were responsible for three deaths in Charlotte, North Carolina. Then on last year, right on last year, a CSX train was derailed in a county in Georgia. Amen. Following the heavy rains by Hurricane Delta just in October of last year. And speaking of a derailed train, has a terrible storm ever derailed your train? My Lord. <laughs> Have you ever had plans and a vision to do something? The Lord had given you a vision. And everything started out great, just then. My Lord, my Lord. You were on the right track. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, <laughs> your plans backfired. Amen. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Your train built to derail. <laughs> Try to get on the path. 
saying it's not happening to anybody here. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Jesus. It has me. My Lord. Jesus. Things happen in life. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And we find ourselves asking God, what happened, Lord? What did I do wrong? What happened to my dream? What happened to my vision? Tragedy can come to the best of us. Amen. 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 Sickness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Death. Yeah. Disappointment. Yeah. Confusion. Yeah. Pain. Yeah. Depression. Yeah. Anxiety. Yeah. And the list goes on and on. And on. And on. Just a few days ago, we were lying in our bed. And my husband had to get up. He was having an anxiety attack. Yeah. Went in the den and he sat there. I don't know because I don't sleep, y'all. <laughs> so he sat there in the closet and watched a little TV until he got the feeling better. Not low. Not low. Not low. Sometimes your medication can do that. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sometimes you can overwork yourself. Yeah, yeah. But things happen in life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it takes a toll on people. Mm -hmm. Find yourself in a state of derailment of life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. In other words, brother Hilton, you get in a hole and you don't know how to get out of the hole. Amen. Remember that song? Mm -hmm. You're in a hole and don't know how to get out the hole. Mm -hmm. Don't know the steps to take to get out of the hole. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Do not the go. Shut it up. Yes. Oh, yes. Pack it under your feet. Yes. yes. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God will see us through. Everything. Any storm of life. Yes. If we will allow him to be in charge, that's the key. He's yes. got to be in charge. You, you can't make decisions in the future by what happened to you in your past. Amen. Your past will cripple you if you allow it to. What derailed your train in 1995 should have been a lesson for you to learn. You have to keep it moving. Take a living and keep on ticking. Y'all don't rush me. Yeah. Don't allow your heart to be crippled yeah. by past situations. Yes, and this brings me to my text. I said, I said, John. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep Jesus went up on a mountain. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Well. And he sat down. He had the crowd. Set down. Some scholars say it might have been 10,000 or 15,000. We don't know, but it was a crowd of people. Yeah, yeah. It's confirmed that they were on the right track because they were following Jesus. Yeah. But somewhere yeah. down in his message, the folks were hungry. Yeah. Let the crowd gather and Jesus pointed out a hard reality. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said, I'm 